Hello everyone, and welcome back to my playthrough of The Wolf Among Us. Last time we went to the Trip Trap, told Holly the sad news about her sister Lily. And she told us that Lily was working at the Pudding and Pie, a strip club of fables, as it seems, run by a pimp named Georgie. So when we got there, Georgie put up quite a bit of a verbal fight, and after we basically threatened to smash the place up, he showed us his little red book that has the names of the, I don't know, the strippers, I guess, and their clients. Uh, fake names, most likely, as uh, last century had Lily seeing someone named Mr. Smith and the number 207 next to it. What it actually means, no idea. Uh, we also saw the stripper that was out on display when we entered the club. She kind of, uh, we saw her in the dressing room. Uh, it seemed like she was beckoning to us to talk to her. So that's what we're doing now. So Lily, nothing there. And then Faith, that was the first person that we talked to in the beginning of the game. The one with the, the head that we found uh, right outside the woodland apartments. Lock's been busted open. Broken open, but there isn't even a lock. That's interesting. Faith, thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. Looks like they both saw one of Lily's clients. Hmm. Not a bunch of cosmetics. Lipstick, lip gloss, compact, glitter. Faith. Anything else that we can examine there? I guess not. Okay. Excuse me. I heard you out there. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. I didn't have a reason. I didn't have a reason to come here before. Yeah. You're trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Once upon a time. Does that help? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Same as anyone. It's a place where I am. Where else am I supposed to be? My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Um, so she says her name is Nerissa. <clears throat> and in the Little Mermaid cartoon, her name is Ariel. I'm not sure if Nerissa is the actual name of the Little Mermaid from, like, the story. Uh, or if that's, like, her stage name or something. I have no idea. If anyone can tell me, uh, let me know. Uh, that'd be great. I'm not too familiar with the, the Little Mermaid story. If it's, like, Hans Christian Andersen or, like, the Brothers Grimm. Um, I, I know that a lot of these fables are taken from them. But I'm not... I, I don't know too much about the original stories. I know that they end in, like, they're very dark and grim stories, but, yeah. Um, but, yeah, if anyone can let me know, that'd be great. Okay, Mr. Smith. Did you see Lily last night? You know, where she went or who she was with? We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean, can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. Slips are sealed. It's how things work here. By design. People keep saying that. 
People keep using those phrases. What does it mean? Or said notice that. This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. These lips. Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? Okay. I get what she's doing. Okay. What would I need to do? I need 150. It's not good to be short. Uh, I'm broke. I'm kind of broke. Wait here for a second. Not 207? You'll think of something. The open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. Hmm. Open arms literally right down the street. <laughs> of course, as a cop. Of a soda machine. Yeah, this shit will kill you. Wait, twenty five cents? Is that what it said? For a can of Coke? That's crazy. Well, I guess this was said in like the eighties. I should probably repair that. Probably. If the rooms are anything like the lobby. They should cut their rates. Yeah. All right, let's ring for service. Want it by the hour or for the whole night? Oh. Uh, oh. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So now you know. I know I should have told somebody. But okay, for those of you that don't remember, that's Beauty from like the Beauty and the Beast stories. In the second episode, I believe, right at the beginning, as we were entering the apartments, we saw her leave. And she promised us to not tell Beast that we saw her. Um, so I guess this is what she's been doing. And she's hiding it from Beast. But Beast would lose his mind if you knew. Beast is a proud man, Bigby. He wants to do right by me, and he he just couldn't handle it if he knew I had to do this so we don't get evicted. All of our friends live at the Woodlands. He'd be mortified. You should really tell Beast. He's worried about you. I will, I will. I just need to in my own time. By the way, thanks for covering for me. So, what are you doing here? Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? 
Oh. Oh, yes, the... the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. Um... Tweedledee said that he did that they do work together. I talked to Tweedledee earlier today. He mentioned you in passing. Do you know him or his brother? I took out a loan for back pay. It was like our third notice. And ever since then, those annoying freaks have been pestering me for the money plus interest. Why take out a loan from those two? It was from the crooked man. Beauty. You don't know how desperate I was, Bigby. I had nowhere else to go. Look, if this ever happens again, come see me or Snow first, all right? I tried. Okay. Do you know Faith? Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's, it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather... Sorry. Understandable. <laughs> you ever seen Lily with anyone? Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job? Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. Uh, yeah, let's ask that. Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her? You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't Snow and went about my business. Thanks. Wait. It'll be better if anyone sees you, that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. I mean, wouldn't that just implicate you as well? Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. Listen, Bigby, I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's just that... I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just, well, you never know. Don't worry about it. The less I have to write down, the better. Thanks. I appreciate it. Well, here we are. Which one was it? Oh god, do I want to be listening? You know, I don't... That's... no. I'm not going to do that. Let's just go to room 207. Uh... You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Seriously, what if someone found out? I could get into a lot of trouble. You have to let me in there. This is the room, 207. But I... This is the room Lily was in. Oh, fine. Well, that's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, oh, shit. Beast? Big B? How could you do this to me? No, sweetie, no! Wait a minute! How could you do this? We've been together through everything! I took care of you! I love- It's not what you think! What is Please. Beast doing here? You're cheating on me! With him?! No! No, Beast! I promise I'm not! I'm helping him, that's all! I'll bet! I'm sure you help each other just great! I know what this place is! I know what goes on no, here! that's not what I meant! This is a murder investigation. She's helping me- Stop lying to me! What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife! Beast, listen to me! There's nothing going on! I'm not- ah! Hey! Bastard! 
Marcus, I finally see you for who you are! Stop! Stop it! You told me you hadn't seen her, you fucking liar! You've been sleeping with her this whole time! God. Listen to your wife. Just calm down and- Beast! What the hell do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me! She's my wife, Bigby! I told you! Just stop! Stop! I mean, I don't think I really have a choice. Up. I already pressed W, rather. Oh, I don't want to do that. I'm not, I don't want to punch him. You don't want to see this. Oh my god. Beauty, stay in the hall. What? Why? What's going on? <gasps> oh my god. Don't touch anything. Is this... is this... Lily met her client here. Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then? Must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah. I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work the front desk. I... so that's... Yeah. Still, this is no place for someone like you. I mean, look. Do you remember who rented this room last night? I don't think anyone did. Not last night. Maybe they have it long term. I don't know. How am I supposed to know? It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But- Just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? Bigby, what kind of a person could do something like this? That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. I can't believe this. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with the built-in cassette player? I think so, yes. So... Compare lilacs with the one that I have, yeah. Where'd you get that? Lily had it in her hand. In case there was any doubt over who died here. We shouldn't even be in here. What is that? It's a book about Snow White. Or about the Mundy version of her story, anyway. Well, the Disney version of her beautiful. The whole book is about her? Yeah. Fuji, Red Delicious Empire. So that's the type of apple. Because I'm a big fan of Red Delicious, and I know Fuji as well. I've never heard of Empire. Is she breathing? Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Hmm. What's it mean? Why mark the page where she's sleeping? The bed matches the coffin, because you have the lilacs there. I think he made up the bed to match the coffin in the picture. Flowers, too. He'd have had Lily lie down just like this. You mean, just before? In the story, that's when someone comes to kiss her. 
That's our Mr. Smith. This is creepy. The coffin and, and the weird fixation on snow. What the hell is wrong with this guy? God. Oh, cigarette. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently not. That's a bottle. He brought wine. Classy. Wine, huh? It looks Poor like girl. a dress in there. Someone's been rough with this dress. It's torn. Oh no, she must have been wearing it. He killed her and then, and then he took it back off? No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. What? What are you thinking? Looks like a snow costume. This is the same dress as the one in the book about snow. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it to recreate the snow from the book. You're right. It's the same dress. It fits. He's acting out scenes from the book. That poor girl. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person... We can't know the answer to that. Every situation is different. Yeah. Okay. She must have been so scared. Let's talk to her. Um, okay. How do I find a rent? How the can room? I find out who rented this room? Find whoever has the key. I'm pretty sure this one must be held long term. And we don't keep a register or anything. This place is intentionally kind of anonymous. You would still have some kind of register. You would legitimately still have some kind of register. Anything else you can tell me? Is there anything else you can tell me about last night? Anything that sticks out in your mind? Sorry, no. It just seemed like every other night does. That's exactly what's bothering me. From now on, I'll just be down there imagining this. Okay, you better not be hiding anything. I'd better not find out you're hiding something from me about all this. What the hell is wrong with you? I'm not involved in this! Please, just do whatever you need to do and let's get out of here. Okay. Maybe she didn't see it coming. Maybe. Oh, there's the apple. Do you smell something? No. Just apple. Huh. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? It's like the apple in the book. It's got a single bite taken out of it, like in Snow Story. Oh no, do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of course. That makes perfect sense. He's just acting out another part of the book. God, I can see the whole picture now. It, it all goes together like you said. This creep put that girl in a Snow White dress and, and recreated the whole story from the book with the apple and, and the deep sleep and everything. You're a better detective than I thought you'd be. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. So he planned it all out. He had all the details noted down. Only then, when it comes time to kiss her and wake her up. Yeah. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. I think all that's left is a cassette. Oh, and that? of the dead girl someone's been watching snow how do you know I'm in this one it was taken last winter 
Oh no. Hmm. Bigby. This kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. His stand-in for Snow is gone now, so... The next step closer. What is it? It's... <gasps> Crane. Oh, fuck. And he's watching us. Bro. He could be after you now. Good. I am dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel. I'm really starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. Sure. Hello, Bigby. Take care of it, Bigby, or I'll take care of it for you. Jesus Christ, Bigby. Is that you? Big Bad Wolf. Man, that is fucking crazy. Who would have thought Crane would have been the... The fucking killer. Well, we assume. Uh, let's see how we did. How did you respond to Crane about Snow's death? You and 60.9% of players sympathize with him. How did you treat the murder suspect? We persuaded him to talk. 62%. That's actually a lot higher than I thought it would be. I, I mean, not that I thought... I thought it would be closer to like 50-50. That people would like rough him up. But most people, yeah, just cater to him. You let Snow come with you to Trip Trap, 91.9% .9 of players. Okay. How did you handle Georgie Porgy? You and 69.9% of players didn't hit Georgie. I would have thought that would have been a lot lower. I honestly thought that would have been under 50%. Did you keep punching Beast when he was down? You and 8.9% players, percent of players never had Beast at your mercy. Okay, good. I did something different. I'm glad to see that. But again, I feel like most people would think there is no option. Like, you have to hit them. Um, but the game stated. Like, sometimes, like, keeping your silence or, like, not doing anything is a valid option. So, I'm actually really uh, interested to see that. Like, I'm fascinated by that. But yeah. But Crane, man. Fuck. Again, this is all just assumption, right? Because the title of the chapter is Smoke and Mirrors. So who really knows? What's the next one called? A Crooked Mile. So Beauty said something about a crooked man. Uh Sorry, not Beauty. Um, was it Beauty or Nerissa that saw something going to Crooked Man? It might have been Nerissa. And that's... Uh, Nerissa's the other thing. Like, they keep on saying... We keep on hearing, uh, you know, our lips are sealed. So, you have to wonder what that really means. You know, is it... Are they like I would think they're under some form of enchantment, like they can't say anything because that's what all of them seem to be like doing. They're saying like they can't talk, they want to, but they can't. So, yeah, and who is this crooked man? We don't know, but uh, yeah, we're two fifths through the story, and uh, it's getting it's getting interesting. I mean, it is interesting, but it's getting more and more. You know, the plot's thickening, as they say. We'll start episode three next time. Uh, but in the meantime, guys, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.